inside look at Hand Force Motorsport 4. Hmm. But I still think it's a bad idea putting it on Connect. Ah, SSX Deadly Descents. I'm definitely going to get that when it comes out. Oh, <laughs> I just caught me reading an Xbox 360 official magazine. Because I like to keep up the deal with an Xbox 360. So, uh, read it. Hi, Chuck Day here with um, the Chuck Day show as usual. But also, there's going to be some of that joined on to this. So, this is, called, this is going to be called Chuck Day. No, the Chuckle Day Show slash Ask Chuckle Day. So I've been looking on my Facebook wall. Uh, if you want to know it, um, it's the Ask the Ask Chuckle Day group. So you can ask me any questions that you like. But as usual, Chuckle Day's got to start off with something else really brutal or really very brilliant, to be exact. Anyway, um, a couple of new things I've been getting. Um, I'm only going to show you a few things what I've been getting because I have this video really good. New game what I've been getting, I have got the first one of Alien, first DVD of Alien and Aliens 3 and I have got Predator. When I decided to get the game Aliens vs Predator, I like this game. I like how this game is actually done, and also if you look, it's made by the same company that made Sonic, Sega. I really like this game because not only can you be alien or predator, you can get to be humans as well. So all three of them. So it says on the back here, are you a hunter, are you a survivor, or are you a prey? Whichever one is which. You get to play up. Them three stories. I've completed aliens and I've completed predators. I just need to complete the humans and then I'm done with a career. But I'm not done entirely because I need to complete them on a high difficulty. So, done them on easy. So, but I'd still need to do the humans. Brilliant game. And I'll show you the disc. There's the disc right there for the game. Brilliant that is. Uh, really love the game. The new DVDs what I've been getting. Freddy vs Jason. This is the only DVD that I've got which has got Freddy and Jason in it. I plan on getting the Nightmare on Elm Street. Not the new one because it makes Freddy look like a complete idiot because like remaking films I don't like remake films because it just makes them worse and worse every single day like for instance if any of you have seen the old Clash of the Titans and if you see the new one that is just bad that's just my opinion but it's bad to be honest with you but still I've got Freddy vs Jason with the original actor who done Freddy and the original Jason as well so I like Freddy vs Jason and it was a question that um, I asked my friends while I was on the Princess Trust course I asked them who would you want to be Freddy or Jason so now here's a question I have to ask you the viewers who would you rather be? Freddy or Jason? Who would you be? Freddy or Jason? So I'm asking you the question. Who would you be? Freddy or Jason? <sighs> Freddy versus Jason. Brilliant. And like as I said when I told you that I've got the first Alien DVD. There it is right there. That's the first Alien DVD. This was made in nineteen in the nineteen eighties. This was actually because I've got there's the the double disc one. So that's the first disc. The 
is that disc is actually the legacy of it so it's like this is just a bonus disc so behind the scenes of Alien and it tells you how Alien was made everything really great film especially when the Alien pops out of the dude's chest it's like and actually, did you know that, um, did you know that where people that, when directors or producers or something like that are actually going to tell you that, um, that something's going to pop out and then you don't get like, <laughs> like a bit much like reaction, like you go, oh, oh God, what was that? They didn't actually tell them because I heard somebody told me this, right? They look behind the scenes of Alien. Guess what? They did not tell them that alien. They did not tell them that the alien was going to pop out of the guy's chest. So you got real reactions from it. So, so you didn't get like a <gasps> oh good. You got like a ah, like a real fright because you didn't know that it was going to happen. So they didn't even know that it was going to happen. So it just popped out. And nowhere, and then it just went, ah, ah, oh my god, ah, like that, a real panicky, real panicky one. Brilliant film, that is, brilliant alien. Um, most of me, be it like the first one, because the actor who appears in the second one, uh, apparently they see it's bad, they see that she's. It's not as good as like think of um think about the Premier League. Like um Premier League and um, the Premier League for the FA Cup thing like um football to be exactly. And if you're in America, it's soccer. We play soccer right, so soccer, American, football if you're British. Or English or British or whatever. Anyway. So this um is brilliant film. And think of the Premier League. If this is like the top of the Premier League, like when it was first done, and then the next couple of like maybe, and then you've got to have another film, which is linked into that, which is Predator. I have got the first Predator film, but I can't seem to find it. I will find it somewhere, but it is Predator. Right. Now on to the other thing. This. Ask Triple D thing, right? This is, um, do you know how I've been doing the day and four for eight shows? Like, in the week, like later on in the week. Well, this time, the day and four for eight show has been changed. So I have changed it from the day and four for eight show to Ask Triple D. And, um, I have got two questions. I have got two questions from my mate, Wrestling Fan 360. It's giving me two questions. Question one is why do you like the WWE? Why do I like the WWE for? Well, I was going to say because of John Cena. That would be my straight answer. But that's not the real answer. Why do I like the WWE? Well, basically, because it's been around for ye it's been around for years. I like WWF, like. Because like uh, I like the WWE because it um, had some great wrestlers in it. It had The Rock, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Hulk Hogan. You had all the old wrestlers which were very, very famous. And also they were amazing. You had Kane, you had The Undertaker, you had every single old one which was brilliant. Until it has changed now right, to what it is. So it's... So now it's a bit boring, but I liked it when it was in the past years. You no know, likes of um before like like before two thousand five. Two thousand four, like before before two thousand five was the best time because you had all the exciting wrestlers that were on it. And plus it was amazing. And plus we got two wrestlers that have came back. No, actually we got three. And they came back to the WWE to make it even more legendary. We got The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, the legend. He is a legend. Now everybody's going to say 
Now everybody's going to see the rock button and the people's elbow. We got Austin. Stone Cold Steve Austin 316. We're going to have Austin 316 back. And we got the boring GBL. But the reason why I like WWE for is because of the, the E that's in it, the entertainment. I don't watch it. I don't watch it on TV. I buy DVDs of it. But I don't watch it on TV. So I miss what is on Smackdown or Raw. And I hate this boring one. Nexus. I hate that. NXT. I hate NXT. Why did they have to ruin ECW? They had to shut down ECW to make a new one, NXT. Oh, God. But anyway, back to the real reason why I like WWE for. Because of the, the entertainment, the wrestlers that are in it, the joys that you get out of it, the pay-per-views that you get out of it, and also... Some crazy stuff that you get to see in it as well. Really crazy stuff. Next, last question from Wrestling Fan 360 is a very good one. If you could pick one song to listen to, which is your last one, what would be it? What would it be? The last song that I would listen to. The last song that I would listen to. It would be, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, would be I Don't Want to Miss a Thing by Errol Smith. Because, he asked him why, because that that song is just very emotional to me. And if anybody thinks I'm going to be a big baby about it, I'm not. A big baby. It's very emotional and plus, it, it's a song that I... Memory it by me, great granddad, so rest in peace. Rest in peace. That's why I always wear this ring for on my right hand. I always wear this ring to memory it in him. He died last year. He he's the one I truly inspire out of my family. He's one of the best. And that's why I every time I listen to the song I don't want to miss a thing, I it reminds me of him because everything that I have everything that I've done with him I didn't want to miss a thing so that's a song what I very like and it's by the band Aerosmith and if you don't and I have got CD of Aerosmith the very best of Aerosmith but that's not the real cover that is the real album, and it's called Devil's Got the New Disguise. So that is, and honestly, that is one of my favorite bands of all times. I do like Aerosmith, and that is very, very cool. So anyway, that's the end of this um, Chocolate Day show. I believe this is episode three, to be honest with you, and the first ever episode of Ask Chocolate Day. But, so, anyway, so, I've got to go, people. So, anyway, one thing to say to you. Peace! Bye!